Hello everyone, and welcome back to Blackjack Plays Animal Crossing New Horizons. You can see I'm doing something a little different with the video this time. We're back in my house. That thing's a little different. Punched it up a bit. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Yeah. Back room's still pretty much the same. You can't make rooms bigger, I'm surprised. Uh, I guess it's because the basement and the upstairs come, like, huge already, but still, you know? One of my tasks right now is to get changed, and we are going to be going to the museum for the stamp rally. So, let's, let's wear something that I'd wear to the museum. Probably couldn't wear that. This would be very nice to wear in the museum. Eh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd probably wear that. I know, I know, we just passed the hot dog costume. I'm not wearing the hot dog costume right now. Right now. That's all. <laughs> Eh. There we go. Ah, but it could be even better. There we go. Duh! They would not let me in the door. <laughs> well, let's get something that looks kind of like my regular glasses, yeah? These are two different colors. That one's green, and this one's brown, believe it or not. <sighs> there we go. How's that look? All set for a fun time at the museum? I am missing my museum. Oh my goodness. Uh, haven't been there since early March. Hmm. As you can see, I've redone the outside a little bit. Okay, now yesterday when I spoke to Blathers about my fossils, he already talked to me about the stamp rally. So, we're just gonna... I was gonna say we just have to, and then I was gonna say we're just gonna, and it turned into we just gonna. <laughs> ah, there we go, there's some stamps. But I... I already did. I was just saying how he was talking to me about this yesterday. Seriously. Hey, right, wake up! <laughs> yes! Uh, oh, okay. Oh, this is why I shouldn't be sleeping on this, huh? And neither should you, Blathers! Uh. Uh-huh. I'm aware. I worked at a stamp rally at the, uh, at the Oregon Zoo once. They didn't call it a stamp rally, but it's what it was. That is one big ocean, yes. Yes, it is. 
I, I did. There was a third, or a, a fourth bubble. Is that just decoration? This is a challenge? This is supposed to be a challenge? Where is the challenge? I do not understand! Da, da, da. <laughs> all right, all right, where? Yeah. There, there's no stampy stamp back here. Yeah, there's there's no stamps in the art area. Why wouldn't there be stamps? In... Is it because it's basically just one big room? Why wouldn't there be stamps in the art area? That doesn't make sense. Hey, Athena. Hey, Athena sitting right over there. Beautiful bird. Beautiful, beautiful parrot. Hey there, yeah? Hey there. Aquatic reptiles! Not dinosaurs, chapter one. Extinction spot, they make you stand on the <laughs> on the it's a big orc near the ceiling, I'm sure it's fine. On the dot that yeah. Yeah <laughs> that widens the picture. But I cannot speak today. No, the silhouette's above and behind that. So they're really making you pay attention to some of the details. But, well, here's a detail for you. You stand here, you get your own spotlight! You notice some species are completely gone. Well, I shouldn't say gone, just they're not. Like, you get that ridge back and front. It's so dark in here, though. I wish you had a free camera like you did in New Leaf. <sighs> I don't know if you can hear it, but if you just need some deep grinding, which means she's content. It's right, you're a smart parrot. So very smart. Get out of the way. Strum and strum some more. Hi, bugs. Oh, dragonfly bridge. Okay. Oh. Masters of disguise. Wee. Maybe that last spot is. Does Blather stamp it with a date or something? They really. They put some nice thought into this. Look at that koi, though. Look at that koi in the middle, in the fountain. This is your life now, huh, koi? Look at that, it can't even go fully under the water. Not like the koi in here over by the Dragonfly Bridge, which is our next destination. We've just gotten word that the dragonflies have left the bridge, and now it's time to pick up Ooh, the chase! <laughs> I 
I realize I am much older than most of you, but yeah, see, look at this. See the fish under there? But they're fine. Ooh, that's where they lay their eggs. Yay! Okay. See, there's there's even another another koi. Yeah, I realize I'm much older than most of you, but uh, oh, where in the world is Carmen San Diego reference? Should always be appreciated. Okay, I just gotta gotta put that out there. Ah! Uh huh. You maintain it. Okay, all right, all right, that was for something. Yeah, I don't even have to really explore, I just have to look around. Uh huh, come on. Just give me all of them at once! Dad is pin feathers. Hey, Athena, he's having pin feathers too. Those are painful, aren't they? Okay, yeah. Ooh, and what, what? Okay, so what are. We're, we're, we're. Oh, up here. Fish black, bug black. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, fruit basket is something I made before I left the house. He did not award me with a fruit basket. That's odd as that would have been. Probably a very blathers thing to do. Hi, Twiggy. Standing in front of the doors, getting yourself pushed around, huh? is actually what I meant to do. Yay! Snow people want to be born on at least once. I want someone who lives on this island to roll me up and give me life. Kind of has some disturbing hmm, implications about the lives of snow people, right? Though it has been raining a lot, is that just them scoping out the island? Uh, This looks better at night, but check this section out. So I have it all high lit with purple spotlights. And I uh, did a little... Okay. The purple mum. Right in the back of Melba's house, you can barely see it. Did a little mushroom writing area back here. Do -do. <laughs> Dora's house. All of these. Sitting area. 
Tebow's house has been overrun with yellow flowers. It's the sitting area from before. A little... Oops. There, that's what I want to do. A little educational area with some fossils and such. If you're wondering how I got palm trees on uh, away from the beach, you just put some well, you put a patch of sand down in the island editor, and you can plant palm trees anywhere. I just got this yesterday in a balloon, and I need to move it. It, it doesn't look right there. Hopefully, you can help me be on the lookout for some. Uh, or for roaches, because I have a cast to catch for. Destroying. As we pass my house, I want to show you something funny. I've been holding out of these letters, because you guys have to see them. Damn it, I forgot. No, I just want to look at the letters that are already there. I forgot, because I have it open for friends, then uh, it always checks the internet connection and this room is a dead zone. Oh my god. Okay, so Dora. We could take our friendship to the next level. Says the mouse. Friendship to the next level. And she tells me she's covered in glue. And then here, she got me something and wanted me to model it for her. Dora. It could never work for many, many Reasons. Least of all, you're a mouse. I made a little picnic area here. I need to get a smoker. Probably put it right there. I moved my beach area away from here. Uh, there wasn't enough room. I'll put a skull next to the town flag. If you know much about I know Boy Bill and their imagery. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> eh. And I realized having a swimming area with uh, this thing here and everything is just going to kind of be defeated by all these trees. But you know what? It's an island of Tanuki magic. All right. No one's going to be in trouble. This is the South Pole. I got it out of a balloon, and I, so I put it at the southernmost point in my island. <laughs> this is still here in this little area, but I got a, I got that off out of someone else's island, so that was cool. I'm gonna turn the area around the lighthouse into like a little fishing. Uh, oh. Why do I do that? A little fishing area. You see the great squids already. I don't know what it is. I'm still stuck on the old version of where they start grabbing it at all as opposed to just gumming at it. Then it's uh, hit. Added more to this stuff. And because I had, oh, and I got the um, little library 
DIY. So I put one there. I put one over by Melba's house. Uh, I put one in the entryway. Anyway, though. Oh, yeah, see here, you can just see the patch of sand sticking out from under the tree. Anyway, though, because I put the mushroom forest up, I had to move my space stuff. So it's all here now. Next to the vending machine. And the sitting area. You're wondering who lives up there? Well, Freda moved out a few weeks ago. I don't know, about a week ago. So now... Come on. Come on! Open! Rodeo lives here! I had him in New Leaf and this is not the kind of house I would expect him to have now. A little studious and stuff. And here I think of stuff I would. I hope he likes baked Alaska. I only had baked Alaska once, but it's delicious. I always fall asleep when I listen to music at my age, stereo. Yeah, I'm listening to KK Soul or KK Folk. I'm listening to my tunes and munching away on my snacks, and pretty soon I'm snoozing. Oh god, I'm. I'm yelling! <laughs> Yeah, he's, uh, remember I did a video, uh, with a woman with another gray parrot? Leanne? That's her favorite villager. I think this was here last time. He spoke. Dinkle Skull. Oh yeah, see there you can see the patch of sand even bigger. My playground got an elephant to it. still pretty much the same, uh, except I switched out. I got, um, no, no I just, just trying to grab it so I can pull it out and show everybody what it looks like. There, see? I got a DIY for the much vaunted ironwood set. That's all I was trying to show people. I'm thinking about taking down these trees and putting in bamboo in I'm gonna have to try to go find another bamboo island though because it would take forever to grow it on my own. Oh yeah. Ran out of room earlier. There's a maple version of that a little pond thingy plain version. There's also a cherry blossom version as well. I don't have that one yet. That's pretty much the same. I am overrun with roses. And to the point of ridiculousness. Like seriously, I I don't know what to do with all these roses. Just sell them. Uh, my friend Patrick had a birthday the other day. Finally got this game. I gave him a whole bunch of stuff, including a whole bunch of my flowers.
And, you know, people ask me a lot of times when I get them a present that they really like, that they think is something really extraordinary, they'll be like, are you sure? And it's like, yeah, I wouldn't be giving it to you if I wasn't. And it, especially in here, because he asked me that too, and especially in here, where everything is virtual. The only thing I paid for was the game itself. So there's, there's the other uh, little library. Melba, I'm going to steal one of your flowers. Um, you know, it's, honestly, it's no expense. It's no imposition. So, yeah, I mean, I kind of understand it if you're dealing with, like, a physical item, because then, you know, there's extra money and such, but uh, even then, it's kind of like, because my parents will ask me that a lot, and it's like, I, I know my own finances. <laughs> Trust me, if I couldn't afford something, I wouldn't be buying it, either for me or for anyone else. There we go. You know what? A pink mum. Right in between the flamingos! <laughs> so weird post earlier. Um, and I know they were being sardonic about it and everything. But, uh, pointing out from a guidebook that uh, Tom Nook doesn't really like Sahara. And I know they were being sardonic about it, but this person uh, said that Tom Nook is racist. <laughs> and it's like, so, Sahara, Sahara, whichever. The camel. And it's like, how, like, even as a joke, how do you get racism out of that? <laughs> Netbug, though, is bringing up Tom Nook, you know, is protecting us from loot boxes, which is essentially what Sarah sells, because everything is blind packaged. <laughs> It's just kind of like, how do you get, even to get as, a, even to use it as a joke, how do you get racism out of that? I, I don't understand. Uh. You know what else I don't understand is why that character is female in English territories. Because so her is supposed to be a dude, and I don't get why they changed that. Oh. Yes, my villagers are calling me Butterbean. Yay. Okay, let's crap. What was I using? But I mean, like, is it the long eyelashes? Because this is what camels look like. They just have long eyelashes. Hey, you noticed that first one, but not the second one? Alright. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes, eight. 
Oh, yeah, Patrick is also discovering the, um, the... It went away on my screen. That's why I was like, eh, for a second there. Huh, discovering how hard it is to find frickin' iron ore, especially at the beginning. I even gave him a full stack of 30, and if he's running out already, it just demonstrates. You know, the weirdness of... Oh, wait. The thing is with the with these uh, maple leaves, if you try to swat at them a couple times, they'll disappear right in front of you. They'll just immaterialize. So you gotta, gotta, uh, yeah, just, just like that. Exactly what I was talking about. Yes, thank you for demonstrating. Now come back. We'll take it from the top. Four. Eight. And... Yeehaw! What should I get for T-Bone for his birthday? He likes black stuff and he likes classy stuff. So maybe I should give him a tuxedo. Or maybe the essay set right there. Eh, I have a lot of set beats. Sounds good. Three thousand. So fruit. Come on, I already sold a hot item today. Uh, at least I remember what it was, so I can just go craft a new one right away. Grab some more materials for it. told me they were going to go over to my sister's house at some point today, but they never actually told me they were leaving. I just, I came downstairs and they were gone. So I'm just assuming that's where they went. I say as a car pulls into the, I think pulls into the driveway. Because I can see the street from here, but not the driveway. Oh, who knows? And I thought about something today. I thought I considered for today's episode maybe going to Heart and Violence for the first time. But I wonder if it's coming around. But I figured I'd wait. And that way we can all see together what happens. When you go to Harvey's Island for the first time during the wedding event, which I know starts, I believe it's June 1st. 
Oh, yeah, I hear my mom talking. Yeah, as well. Just... Hi! You don't believe me that she's over here. I'm probably going to get this for Melba. I actually can get more than one thing of each type. Wait a minute. I just realized something. I just realized something about that shirt. Oh, yep, yep, it has the little collar on it. If anyone wants to dress like Matashita, that's what you gotta wear. <laughs> anyway, there. I think that would look nice on Twiggy. So yes, if you want to dress like Matashita from Digimon, then there's your, there's your item. I never got why people were so, like, head up on there being a rivalry between Digimon and Pokemon. They were just part of the same collectible monsters craze. It's like we were talking about, well, the video hasn't gone up yet because it was claimed immediately, but um, we were talking about with uh, the Danny Phantom video, whereas you know, it's just part of the same book of the Monsters craze. You know, you had Monster Rancher, you had Moncoli Knights, who else remembers Moncoli Knights? There's some animation styles from that. That was a hilarious show, my goodness. You know, you had all kinds of stuff. You had all kinds of shows. And it all started with Tamagotchi, too. I mean, yeah, I know stuff like Capsule Monsters has been worked on for quite some time beforehand. Um, but, you know, when the idea is good, the idea is good. Here's the entryway of the third to the library. <laughs> I need to stop singing along. Oh, 
This is one of my favorite Pokemon pieces. Kind of reminds me of um, the show. Uh, <sighs> What's the name of that show? Uh, I even I own it. Uh, Suritama. That's the name of it. Suritama. Um. About a kid who's encouraged to take up fishing by another kid who is an alien. <laughs> it's, uh, it's actually quite good. <laughs> it's uh, you know it'll make you laugh, make you cry, and don't worry going into it, nobody dies, including the sick grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see her, she's all, you know, she's frail and coughing and stuff. And you think she's going to die? No, no. No one dies. <laughs> Just in case that's a turnoff for you, which it definitely would be going into a series that you think is going to be a recording comedy. It does, however, tug at your heartstrings quite a bit. <laughs> like, there are deceased characters, but they all die before the show started. You know, that kind of <laughs> Not really, really. No, it's not. No, turn, turn around. Frickin' uh. There. 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 We have a little gap. So it does have some very emotional moments. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> just, it's not that kind of show. <laughs> just, yeah. Also, one character does have an incredibly obnoxious voice. It's supposed to sound that way. Just, just so you're aware. <laughs> Come on. Why couldn't it go there? There's nothing blocking it there. What's blocking it there? The plant? Uh, it's just the plant. It shouldn't take up wall space. Uh, it should let me put the dishes on the sink. This is the mom's cozy, or, uh, mom's tea cozy, that's what it's called. Ah, uh, it blacked again. So I have to immediately look to this, and it didn't here, so that's good. Upstairs, I just put down, uh, Lyman was making a pear bed earlier. Made that and put that down into the rose bed. Let uh, me get some more sort of tables. Is that a panel show? <laughs> Mm 
my hamsters that are watching television. Searching some old Jenna Marbles videos when she had her hamster ad. Oh my goodness, he was so adorable. <laughs> she should get more rooms. She's really good with them. <laughs> and this. This is kind of where I put whatever. Um, but she can make a page out of it. This should this should be a tub. This fill this water a little bit. The problem is there's like a million things I want to make in a place like this. That's actually another song that I'm going to do, Story Tama. There's a lot of like old fishing songs and such in it, which is why I was bringing it up. Uh, there's something funny. Oh, it used to be that the music would go down. Did they patch that out? Let me play! Let me play! My switch is broken, it's all stuck on the startup screen. chair. Really ought to let you rock on it. Anyway, that is my Five Star Island tour. I have that there so I could possibly get some sort of a big set from it. But see, here's, this is, it just sprouted here. Go away. Remember I told you that the first, uh, well now they're finally calling them really the Valley instead of Jacob's Ladder. What the heck is a Jacob's Ladder? Um, that the first one, uh, sprouted, like, right here. The second one sprouted, like, right here. <laughs> I wonder if when I get a third one it'll sprout here. And I think that'll show that it's some sort of pre-programmed thing versus just a random <sighs> random thing. Just gonna do what I need. Nope, but it's not. I need a cherry sand. Not a cruising carp, though. Yep, cherry salmon. Ah, that sweet music stays on my mind! Look me away from the 70s funk. <laughs> anyway, though, I will let you all go. Next time, I am Blackjack Gaviani, and enjoying the sweet island music. Mm -hmm.